<laughs> All right, well, a live look at downtown. Uh, we saw rain and also out in Speedway, the same thing. Indianapolis Motor Speedway, heavy, heavy rain at this hour. And as we know, there are four races there this weekend, including the Verizon 200 on Sunday. We'll get to that in a moment, but first we want to get you through the evening. Let's get let's get this stuff out of the system. First. Right, right. <laughs> Before we get to the weekend here, we've had so many things. Uh, the State Fair closed this evening. Uh, Indianapolis Indians postponed. They're going to do a doubleheader tomorrow evening, uh, and we're waiting word on Indy 11. They initially tweeted out about an hour ago. They're pushing back their start time to 9 p. I don't know if that's going to cut it. It might be a little later than that. So let's show you. There's uh, the uh, live look now at Victory Field. So again, a double header slated for tomorrow. Here's a look as we go down south on Meridian. Uh, we've got you at Royal and Keystone here. Wet just about everywhere around the metro area. This is I-65 and the 38th Street. Uh, here's live Doppler 13 radar. When you see those dark shades of red on it, it is going to be one to two inch per hour rain rates. This is very tropical in nature. You can see from Green Castle, it's going to shoot into Lebanon here. It's a little more scattered the farther south you go for right now, uh, but we fully expect there's going to be uh, increasing coverage in this zone over the next couple of hours. And then it is all just steady rain. Uh, Frankfurt, Elwood, heavy stuff there, Anderson. Nothing severe in terms of wind gust or anything like that, but it is going to be the flood watch, the flood concern here within this axis. Uh, we are going to have areas that will exceed three inches in some locations. 72 right now in Indy, it's 68 in Lafayette. Flood watch goes until 4 a.m. And uh, let's show you future track 13. So as we get closer to midnight, we'll start to see it scatter from west to east by tomorrow morning, just some lingering clouds. So let's talk about things that are going to be open. Uh, Colts camp tomorrow, a uh, little cloudy in the morning, but it is going to be more of a comfortable feel as the muggy meter starts to drop. Now, State Fair tomorrow looks good. A lot of sunshine. We are going to put in a slight chance by 7 or 8 p.m. Whether or not it makes it to I-70 is to be determined. This is the double header that we're talking about tomorrow at Victory Field. Uh, seven inning games, two of them. First pitch at 6.05. Here's future track 13 as we'll go from the morning and then get into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. There's going to be a little weak front come down and it may have enough, enough heating, enough moisture to kick off some stray showers, rumbles of thunder here. We will look upstream later Friday and Friday night. There's the potential that we could have a complex of thunderstorms. Exact timing and location is to be determined, but the thinking is it will get out of here by the middle part of Saturday if it does develop so that the doubleheader of racing at the Motor Speedway on Saturday should not be impacted here. What will happen this weekend, we are going to heat up, we'll be close to about 90 degrees. Cooling down early next week and we'll have some more rain around on Monday and all signs are after Wednesday of next week. We could be turning up the temperatures, possibly the hottest that we've had so far this summer. So we'll Ooh. see. Hang in there. Okay, the pools are still open. That's some good news. Thank you. <laughs>